guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. As some of you may be on Twitter, the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings, Anna's Path. So, y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to our upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. All those for patrons, y'all. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up. Let's go. Alright. Looks like the generator is gone. Huh, mystery solved. The sound of creaking metal penetrated the stillness of the room. I looked above toward the source of the noise as it grew louder, and the next instant I was pushed up sideways and fell to the ground, just barely avoiding the giant light fixture that fell from the ceiling and shattered into countless pieces alongside me. Keegan, are you alright? <clears throat> next thing I saw was a hooded figure standing above me, barely visible against the darkness that permeated the room. Mystery. The figure crouched down next to me, its mask hovering right in front of my face. Merely a whisper, re merely a whisper reached my ears when it spoke. Be careful, Keegan. Then the figure dashed towards the stairs. Where are you going? That's that's not me. Don't move. She's gone up the stairs. I'm on it. I didn't see that chair coming. I can't see a damn thing in here. Here, Chief! I hate these stupid stairs. You're blocking the way. Just go around me. There's no room. You're as wide as the stairs are. I can't help it. Damn it, we'll never catch him now. But how we found our way back up, the mysterious figure was nowhere to be found. We've got a long search ahead of us. With a head start like that, there might be no end to it. We have to take our chances as long as we still can. Except that chance is growing smaller and smaller while we wait for the team to arrive. Whatever, what even happened down there? Right, Keegan, tell us everything in as much detail as you can. There wasn't much to it. I heard a noise, I looked up, the light fixture came down, then someone pushed me. You mean Reza. What makes you say that? Whoever it was was wearing a mask. It bloody well can't be someone else, so let's not kid ourselves here. Wait a minute. When we were down there, didn't you refer to him as she? Did I? I don't know. Maybe you just heard it wrong. Maybe. Why would he wear that whole getup, though? Well, I don't know. Good point. This whole thing doesn't make any sense. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Your earlier theory about what happened was pretty sound, Sebastian. Let's go with that. Add a bit about the generator being stolen. So now the question is, who has the motive for stealing a generator? Reza. Right. Who else would need to steal a generator when those who live here could either buy or even simply request one? Not to mention Reza was the one who arranged the diplomatic trade for the generators in the first place. I can't deny the fact that your generators are pretty important to us, but resorting to murder? We all saw the human figure running away. Why would he remain here if he was the one who stole it? The generator was already gone when we got here, and the person in question wasn't carrying it either. Perhaps this is a case where the criminal has returned to the crime scene. For this kind of crime? I'd say no, but who knows? Maybe our rules just don't apply anymore. What do you mean? No offense, but ever since you two humans turned up, there have been a lot of strange things going on. This place used to be a quiet town. Maybe this is all a huge misunderstanding and you just need someone to talk to him. Let's put this into perspective. We found two corpses so far. Rez is the prime suspect, and you think all he needs is someone to talk to him? Sorry, but I'll be going with a no on that one. Maybe we should just focus on finding him and point fingers later. Okay, now, water time. Hmm. Agreed. The police team will be here any minute now. You don't have to get involved with the search, but that doesn't mean you can't help us. What do you want me to do? We still have the list of places we are going to check out, remember? We can't go now. The search takes priority. 
Of course, we'll stick to we'll stick out we'll check out those places after we're done here. But if you go on your own, you can speed up the process. You can even find a lead for us. Who knows? How about no? <laughs> Great. Here's the list. Considering your status, you shouldn't have any trouble in these places. But if anything happens, call me and I'll check up on you later. Wait a minute. You mean I'm going all by myself? All of us are going to be busy with the search, and we can't really afford to spare someone right now. You'll be fine. Aren't you worried I'll do something fishy? I mean, isn't that why Reza and I were assigned police escorts in the first place? That policy was mostly Maverick's fault, and he's out of the picture. With my authority as chief, I say you can go alone. I already know, I already know where you're going, and besides, I trust you. If you were in cahoots with Reza, you would have run off with him when you had the chance. A good point. Ah, I see the team approaching. I guess you should get going. All right, I'll see you later then. Good luck. It was a relief to leave the crime scene, considering all that had happened. When I reached into my pocket to take a look at the list, however, I found something unexpected. It was a small piece of paper with the word Tatsu written on it. How did it get here? My earlier encounter with the masked person was the only time today someone was close enough to smuggle something into my pocket. I figured if someone like Bryce tried to do something like that, I definitely would have noticed. And as for Tatsu, the only, the only related thing I could think of was Tatsu Park, which I had come across when I went to the police station the other day. Even if that park was a place the mysterious paper referred to, I don't know if it was actually a good idea to visit. The masked person may have saved me from the falling light fixture, but if it was Reza, it would mean following someone who was also the prime suspect of two murders. I also had to consider the list of places Reza had been to. The local grocery store, the production facility we had visited, and the library were the, were the three closest places to here. It certainly was going to be a busy day, and I knew I wouldn't have the time to visit all of them. Uh, what should I do? Uh. Hmm. Visit the production facility. I think that's, uh, probably Anna. I think that's Anna. Let's see. Yep, Anna. Reza was allegedly here at some point. Maybe I should ask Anna. Hello? Anybody here? <laughs> oh, hello there. Can I help you? I was just looking for Anna. Is this, this is her lab, right? Why don't I ever why don't I ever get any recognition? This is my lab as much as it is hers. By the way, Anna's not here. Would that be all? Since you work here, maybe you can help me instead. Oh, of course. Your precious Anna isn't here, so you'll have to settle for me. I see how it is. That's not what I meant. Of course, of course. Let's just get this over with. You could start by telling me who you are. Here's the short version. My name is Damien. I work in this facility, and I'm unfortunate enough to live the, live the nightmare of having to deal with Anna on a daily basis. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you, too. And you are... Uh, you don't know who I am? Of course I know who you are, but your assumption validated the point I was going to make. You see, this whole thing about you coming here has been blown out of proportion. Like it's some huge event that everyone should be celebrating. Newsflash, not everyone cares. Once both of you are gone, life will return to normal. We can all go back to what we actually should be doing. So, you know, water time. Imagine a lot of it has to do with those human myths you have. I can only reiterate, not everyone cares. What exactly do you want again? Let me know Nana. Why do you care about that? Maybe I want to find out the kind of person she is. You might have an idea. I'll put it this way. I've known her for t I've known her far too long. Research. Cancer research. She, she thinks... She thinks she can cure it. She's out of her mind. Is that such a bad thing? The way she does it? Yes. She's wasting resources that could be better spent on projects with an actual chance of success. Reza? Do you know anything about Reza's visits to the facility? I've seen him a few times. He would come by to ask about the progress of the generators. Heh. <laughs> there was this one time when Anna told him she'd have news. When he came over, she just wanted to run some tests on him. Did he go through with it? No, nope, he wanted some compensation, I suppose. Nothing she could offer satisfies him, however, and that was that. 
Let's see what you're all doing. Right now? Guess who got tasked with running all those tests on your blood? You did? That's right. Once well, she goes out and does whatever the heck she wants, I get to keep an eye on the experiment. Any interesting results? Not just yet, but soon we'll know more about your body than you do. Okay. Thanks for your help. Yeah, yeah. You interrogated Damien. Da -da -da -da. Got some more time left. What should I do? Go visit the grocery store. I entered the store, the sound of a bell alerting the staff to my arrival. Seeing the patrons browsing the shelves, neatly stocked with wares of all kinds, evoked some feelings of nostalgia and normalcy in me. This must be the store Res has been shopping at. Oh, hello there. Who's he talking to? Hey, I think I've seen her before. Oh. Sorry, but this prescription has expired. Aw. I can't fill it like this. You'll need to tell your parents to visit the doctor so he can write you a new one. And off she goes. She turned around, nearly running into me when she suddenly bolted toward the door. Hello, Keegan. How can I help you? You know who I am? How would I not? How could I not? Everyone knows about you. Anyway, how can I help you? Who's that? You mean the girl? That's Vara. She comes here occasionally to pick up her mother's prescription. Of course I do. It's only been a few days since he was last here. Still sound a little unusual, but can you tell me what he bought? Are you talking? Are you just talking about last time or every time he came here? Both, I suppose. He came here more than once. He's been visiting pretty regularly now that I think about it. Interesting. I can look up his purchases if you like. That'd be really helpful. Shouldn't be too hard. Just give me a second. I watched him carefully navigate the register's buttons, soon followed by the sound of the attached printer. Here you go. Receipts from all his purchases. Well, that was easy. Since our government takes care of all his purchases, they're filled. Se they're filed separately. It was simple to pull them up. It's like he bought mostly food and snacks. Sometimes magazines, but... Why was he buying lemons every single time? Can't say I didn't notice, but I figured it was just a human thing. Like, you know, water time. Strange. In any case, that was more information than I expected. You have my thanks. You're welcome. Just browsing for now. Let me know if you need anything. What am I even looking for? The bread selection. They have a surprisingly big selection. So what do dragons eat bread anyway? I guess at least I'm covered in case I want any melon any melon bread. Hey, you! <clears throat> oh, hello there. Why she bring a box on her head? Are you talking to me? <clears throat> yes, what do you say? Melon or lemon bread? Interesting. Okay. I mean, the only difference between the two is like one letter, so how am I supposed to choose? I don't think that's how it works. Why don't you just go with the one you think you'll like more? That's a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Is that a cardboard box on her head? Look at the produce. Who would have thought that dragons are big on produce? I don't even recognize some of these. The meat. Meat, of course. Lots and lots of meat. Fresh meat, smoked meat, cured meat, dried meat, prepackaged meat, prepared meat, ready to eat meat, meat snacks, burgers, kebabs, nuggets, whole hams, bacon, meatloaf, sausages. And that's not even all of it. Needless to say, they have that area covered. Go to that, look at the health aisle. Everything from food supplements to skincare and even birth control. The variance in product sizes is astounding, especially when talking about the birth control. I think these ones could fit on my arm. <laughs> Enough browsing. I should go back to what I came here for. You looked at everything the store has to offer. Isn't that great? Wait. <sighs> I suppose that's all I can do here right now. The afternoon sun hung low in the sky, and I decided it was time to report my findings to the police. A brief call to the department. I was on my way to an appointment with Sebastian. Looks like you've seen this before. Skip to the character selection. No. Skip to what selection? No. Character selection, okay. Not sure how my findings will help, but at least I have something. Look who we have here. I turned around to see Maverick. His intense gaze confirmed that there was no, el no one else's words could have been directed at. Even with the civilians passing by in the background, I suddenly felt very alone. What do you want from me? Answers. Alright. 
tell me one thing. Why? What is your goal in all this? Why even come here? No, no, no. That won't do. That's simply not true. You know it, and I know it. I just don't get why you can't be honest with me, even when you know no one else is listening. I know I can't touch you. If I did, it would be over for me. At least as long as I don't have any proof. In the end, what difference does it make if I know? No one is going to believe me anyway. You wish to kill me too, like Reza? Is that so? Tell me, why would an ambassador need such a dangerous tool in the first place? I knew you claimed not to have one of these things Reza injured me with. You didn't have any when they searched you, but I guess it was way too late for safety precautions at this point. You could have hidden one anywhere. That damn hurts, you know. But even worse than that was getting thrown aside by Bryce. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye